Hi, consultants and would-be consultants. I'm Richard Weinberger, the CEO of the Association of Accredited Small Business Consultants, and I want to talk to you today on this video about the benefits of separating revenue by product line, by service line, or by department. Let's take a look at a little example here. The best way to obviously look at revenue uh, by product line or by service line, <clears throat> and that is to spread it out on a spreadsheet with the oldest year first, going to the most current year, and then we can add each subsequent year uh, and get a complete history of the revenue of the company that we're consulting with. Along the left-hand side, we should put the various product lines, departments, or whatever. Now the reason that this is so important, let's not even worry about the bottom part of this chart yet. Let's look at the top part. Well, we can see that product line A is increasing nicely from 50,000 to 135,000. Product B, the same thing from 60 to 160. Product line C from 10,000 to 185,000. Big jump. Product D from 80,000 to 320. All of this actually looks good, but the question is, what product is actually contributing most to our bottom line profit? The next section of our chart, again, not looking at the bottom part yet, the next section, what we would want to do is get the percentage of the revenue that each product is to the total revenue coming in. This gives us then a little bit different picture rather than simply looking at all dollar amounts. If we look at the percentage of revenue being brought in by each product, we can see well product line A is starting to decrease, product line B is also decreasing, product line C is having a huge increase product line D is remaining relatively the same. If we simply look at this chart and we do no further analysis for a client, our first inclination would probably be, let's not put all of our marketing efforts into product line A and B because it's going, both of these products are seeing a downward trend. It's like, why don't we put all of our marketing efforts maybe into product line C that is increasing substantially or product line D that is remaining relatively the same. This gives us a little false impression if we only look at these two parts of the amount of revenue that a business has. Let's go on down and see how things change when we plug in the cost of goods sold for each product we calculate also then the gross profit percentage. This gives an entirely different picture. Product line A, even though from a percentage standpoint to the total revenue it is decreasing, it is contributing very nicely to the bottom line with a gross profit percentage of 30% and remaining relatively stable. Product line B also, even though percentage wise it has gone down from a total amount of revenue, percentage of total revenue, but also contributing very, very nicely to the bottom line. Now let's look at product line C. This is the one that went from 5% as a percentage of total revenue up to 23%, had a huge jump in sales. We would probably think that's where we want to put all of our personnel effort, all of our marketing efforts. But look at the gross profit percentage. Well, no wonder that the product line C has such large sales and contributes to a larger percentage of the revenue. Now we would have to ask ourselves the question, why is the gross profit so low? Are we underselling, underpricing what that product uh, should be? Uh, is the uh, gross profit percentage, is that the standard for what the industry uh, would really be? So these are all questions that we would have to ask ourselves and then after answering those questions it might be that we do not want to put as much effort into this particular product if um, the gross profit percentage is only 13 percent compared to these that are much higher. And then also product line D that remained relatively stable well, we would want to continue to emphasize this product because of the gross profit percentage. What we're going to find in a lot of small businesses, and that is the small business owner 
and the individual preparing the financial statements for the small business. They only look perhaps at the total revenue. They might not even break it down by product line, service line, department, depending on the business. Then they probably go no further and they do not even calculate the percentage that that product line or service or department is based on the percentage of the total revenue and certainly they probably do not break it down by the gross profit percentage. This is really important. It's a huge, huge eye opener for a small business owner to realize where their efforts should be placed in trying to market various products. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.